In this video, I'll detail how to put iPhone in maintenance mode. So if you want to put your iPhone in maintenance mode, whether you want to put it in maintenance mode because you want to repair it or you want to handle your iPhone to a unknown person or someone you cannot trust, this video is going to walk you through. So if I don't know this video, if you found this really helpful and informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Now to put iPhone in maintenance mode on iOS 18, all you just need to do is go to your iPhone settings. On the settings page, scroll down, click on accessibility, then scroll down to the bottom, locate assistive access and click on that. Once you click on assistive access, click on set up assistive access. Now you'll be prompted to set up assistive access where you only need to select apps and customize option for the person who will be using assistive access on this iPhone. So this is vital whenever you want to put your iPhone in maintenance mode or you want to repair your iPhone. Go ahead and tap continue. Then you should see your Apple ID and your name. Click on continue or change Apple ID account. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on continue. How do you want the assistive access page or the maintenance page to appear? Is it in rules or in grid? So here, let's go with grid. Click on grid. Then here you'll be prompted to select the application you want to have access to on your iPhone while your iPhone is on maintenance mode. So here, I am only going to access one app on my iPhone while in maintenance mode, which is the calling app, so that this person using my iPhone will be able to put a call through or I'll be able to receive a call from anyone. Then after that, I'll select anyone and click on continue. Then you should see the selected app here. Then you can come down here and add all the application you want to have access to when your iPhone is on maintenance mode. So let's say you want to have access to Gmail. Just click on it. Once you selected it, click on allow, then click on continue. So set up the Gmail and then click on continue. Once everything is set up, then you should see the Gmail added to selected app, then go ahead and click on continue. Then again, using assistive access, click on continue. Assistive access and unlocking your iPhone. Make sure you know your iPhone passcode and you can easily unlock your iPhone with Face ID or Touch ID. Go ahead and click on continue. Then type in the assistive access code. You need to set up a new passcode for your assistive access to lock it different from your iPhone passcode. So if anyone having your iPhone knows you are in assistive access mode, that person can easily type in the passcode, but you can set a different passcode for your iPhone as it passes. Then once that is done, go ahead and click on not now or set up a recovery app account. So setting up a recovery app account, you prompt you to set to type in a new Apple ID confirming so that when you forgot your assistive access passcode, you'll be able to recover your iPhone back to normal. Then click on not now. Then you can then go ahead and click on continue. You can see assistive access is ready to use. Then go ahead and Start using the city facets, then you'll be prompted to type in the passcode. Go ahead and type in the passcode. Once you type in your passcode, this is going to exit the normal mode on your iPhone and you should see entering assistive access mode. Once you see entering assistive access, this is only going to show the application you selected while setting up the assistive access. And this is going to put your iPhone in maintenance mode. So that's it. So that's how to use assistive access to put your iPhone in maintenance mode on iOS 18. So if you found this video helpful and informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe.